Hi everyone, welcome to Simplify and Secure Your Network for All Workloads. I'm Stephanie Wong, Developer Advocate, and with me here today is Meninder Sambi, VP and GM of Cloud Networking. Welcome, Meninder. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm really excited to be here. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Google Cloud Infrastructure Networking Team. Uh, networking, as you know, Stephanie, is the fabric that interconnects all workloads in a very secure, simple, as you migrate workloads into the cloud or you're modernizing your applications. For the last couple of years, we have shipped a lot of innovations, many of them being best of cloud. And I'm here together with Stephanie to introduce the next level of innovations that will make it easier for our customers to move migrate their workloads into the cloud as well as modernize their applications. Great to have you here, Mininder. Now, customers across all industries and regions run their workloads on Google Cloud Network today. And our network infrastructure has become the foundation that fuels our customers' businesses. From healthcare, retail, financial services, media and entertainment to public sector, enterprises of all sizes and segments are transforming and building businesses, leveraging the scale, security, and simplicity from Google Cloud Network. And the network is constantly expanding. We are building out our network to reach more customers than ever and enabling them to connect with global scale, lower latency, and higher throughput to enable digital businesses globally. We've expanded with 35 regions, 106 zones, 173 network edge locations, and are connecting customers across the continents via 22 high capacity subsea fiber cables that bring together users in more than 200 plus countries. And our network has been 100% carbon neutral since 2007. On top of this global network infrastructure that Stephanie talked about, we are building the best of cloud network services. To accomplish this, we've defined our three core principles that help guide our best practice. Number one being meeting the customer in the journey. Our customers are di on different phases of their journey into the cloud, and every customer is different. We are committed to meeting our customers with the right solutions, no matter where they are in the journey. Second, everything that we build, we're gonna leverage that IP that Google has around AI ML and power up these network services. So we are actually integrating AI ML into our networking services to deliver intelligent learning, detection, mitigation, and observability as network conditions change. For example, we integrated ML with our cloud armor, which enabled the fastest DDoS detection and prevention in the world. We also believe that security has to be built in, not bolted on. So we built in security as part of our design and collaborating with the best in class partners to bring these technologies to our customers. An example is about Google IDS, which is very catered towards the SOC buyer that was co-developed with the industry leading technology partner, Palo Alto Networks. With these core principles in mind, Google Network is pleased to launch and announce how we are enabling a simpler, developer-friendly network that is secure, trusted, flexible, resilient services that can support all type of workloads on a global scale network. Today, Stephanie and I are really pleased to share some of our latest innovations in networking that will help our customers in four key areas on how do you migrate, how do you modernize, how do you secure and observe your workloads into the cloud. So let's take a look at some of the new capabilities that help customers migrate. As customers migrate services to the cloud, we are now simplifying how the services are being secured and consumed with Private Service Connect, something that we call internally as PSC. PSC allows private consumption of services across VPC networks that belong to different groups, teams, projects, and organizations. And this was done before using a layer four connection. Today, we are actually introducing a layer seven or an L7 PSE that provides consumer controlled security, routing, and telemetry to enable more flexible and consistent policy for all our services. With PSE hybrid, producers and consumers may now securely connect and access managed services from the cloud or on-prem 
making it easier to consume the service anywhere. We are also excited to add new partners to our ecosystem, starting from Confluent, Databricks, Datastax, Grafana, Neo4g. We're very excited about bringing these partners that enables our customers to easily consume data and analytics from our partners today. Working closely with our partners to deliver this integration of PSE, Datastax, Confluent, Databricks found the integration to be effortless and seamless. And these are some of the quotes that we are actually introducing from our partner perspective. We are thrilled to integrate support for all these partners and are looking forward working with our customers to add more and more third-party services. Many customers have HPC workloads that demand the highest compute and network performance that is needed. We are proud to introduce the industry's leading 200 Gbps networking with line rate VM to VM TSP encryption, supporting the latest C3 machine family that we have. With the 2x of bandwidth for a C2 VM family, our networking technology now delivers low latency, high throughput for performance for the most demanding workloads, such as financial risk modeling, simulation, scale out analytics, AI ML, and data processing. As part of their transformation journey, customers are modernizing to achieve greater business outcomes. I'm pleased to be joined by our great customer of ours, who's partnering with us to transform their business into the cloud. Please welcome Omar Hassan, Vice President of Operations for App Lovin. Thank you, Meninder. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm really excited and glad to be here. So how has Google Cloud helped you in this, in this journey into the cloud? Yeah, of course. It's been an amazing time uh, working with Google Cloud. We started our journey in early 2021, um, and we were able to migrate all of our applications seamlessly and across five different regions in a single day. Wow, five regions in one day. Yes, it was an amazing, and it was very simple and easy to use the, the Google Cloud infrastructure. That's, that's pretty amazing. Five data centers in a single day, no pressure. Um, <laughs> So what results have you seen as you migrated your workloads into the cloud? And how has cloud networking helped uh, along this journey? Yeah, of course. Er earlier this year, uh, we made our migration to Google Cloud CDN. And there we saw better performance. Um, and we were able to, in doing so, scale up traffic by three times in a short period of time. Um, the Google Cloud uh, load balancers were able to handle millions and upon millions of uh, requests instantly. Um, and you know, for us, that consistent performance and availability is very important to us and our customers. And along with that, I'm, I'm hoping you got some cost reductions. Of course, yeah. Uh, you know, that, that, that goes without saying, yes. So not only was it like modernizing your applications and making them cloud native, uh, obviously, the cloud brings in the cost reductions, but better performance, lower latency, and scale at a global was, was really interesting. Um, as you look at business outcomes, I'm sure these, these led to business outcomes that your company valued. Could you give me a few examples of what those business outcomes were? Yeah, of course. I mean, with, with lower latency, um, we're able to just provide that consistent performance again. Um, we were able to take on more and more customers, which allowed our uh, company just to scale. Um, and along with moving to Cloud CDN, we were able to have better fa failover capabilities, um, a single uh, pane view to our infrastructure, um, and be protected through uh, Google Cloud Armor. That is amazing. I'm sure there's a lot of customers who are viewing this, looking at the challenges of moving five data centers in a single day while having to provide business continuity the resiliency and scale that is needed in the performance to making sure that your op, uh, applications continue to run, getting modernized to meet those demanding uh, business requirements. Um, so you're not alone, Omar. I'm sure there's a lot more people like you who are going through this journey. It's glad to see the cloud in infrastructure innovations that we bring are helping you. So thank you, Omar, for joining us today. We deeply appreciate the partnership with you and your company as you are on this cloud journey. Of course. Thank you, Meninder. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Omar. Thank you.
Well, thank you so much to Omar and Muninder for bringing on App Lovin. It's such a powerful example here. Like App Lovin, many customers are similarly migrating to Google Cloud to deliver rich, high quality experiences to their viewers with personalized user experience. We are introducing end to end monetized streams through Media CDN with two new capabilities. Media CDN now supports Google Ad Manager Dynamic Ad Insertion, which provides customized video ad placements for industry leading ad decisioning. With Livestream API, Media CDN can stream live video content and optimize them for delivery across client devices. Media CDN is available in more than 1,300 cities, which is ideal for running custom code closest to users for optimal performance. Introducing Network Actions for Media CDN. Network Actions is a new product that enables programmability for customers to build and run serverless functions in front of the cache nodes on Media CDN. It gives customers the ability to customize their delivery infrastructure by programming and running custom code to enhance, secure, and manage their end user experiences. Common use cases include additional security controls, improve cache offload, write custom logs, and much, much more. We built network actions on developer-friendly open source technology based on WebAssembly and open APIs. One of our key customers using Media CDN is Paramount. Streaming has become a strategic initiative and growth area for Paramount, who migrated traffic to Media CDN. They observed consistently superior performance and offload metrics, enabling them to engage subscribers with the highest quality viewing experience. Next, let's dive into security. Just a few months ago, we announced that we prevented the largest layer seven DDoS attack. And this is powered by Cloud Armor. With Cloud Armor, we prevent threats against web services, leveraging our AI ML technology to detect, protect, our systems and our infrastructure. Cloud Armor provides a service for advanced protection of web applications, services, and APIs against DDoS attacks and L7 attacks from fraud to bots at a global scale, and does so for hybrid multi-cloud architectures. We recently announced a Cloud Armor expansion that now includes protection for CDN applications non-HTTP use cases. We also announced that Cloud Armor's ML-based adaptive protection capability combined with the recent rate limiting feature were instrumental in mitigating an HTTPS attack of 46 million requests per second, which was 76% larger than the previous reported record. Next, we have delivered significant enhancements and expansions to our Cloud Firewall offering. Google Cloud Firewall helps you achieve a zero trust network posture via a fully distributed cloud native firewall service with advanced protection capabilities and granular controls. You can even achieve intra subnet micro segmentation, which is applied independently of the network structure. We recently announced new enhancements that simplify configuration, deployment, while simultaneously helping to improve network security posture and doing it at cloud scale. We have introduced these capabilities in two offerings, essentials and standard. Let me give you a rundown on what these services are. Essential service forms the foundation of the cloud firewall family. The enhancements here include the new network firewall policy construct, global and regional, security tags, objects that IAM governed and address group objects. Taken together, these features simultaneously help increase policy precision and simplify rule creation and operation at a global scale. The Cloud Firewall standard offers an advanced dynamic curated object for firewall rules that simplify policy configuration and micro segmentation to protect your cloud workload and infrastructure. The new cloud firewall standard introduces the following advanced dynamic objects. Google Cloud Threat Intelligence with five different object types to start both known as well as unknown malicious bad actor IPs 
and also known useful IP sets like upstream CDN providers and search engines. Number two, the domain name based on FQDN or dynamic objects, and also making it geo-based dynamic objects. In summary, here we see the two cloud firewall offers, the combination of IEM governed security tags in essentials, the dynamic objects in the new standard tier, and our existing hierarchical firewall rules that help you run a very flexible, least privileged self-service environment that enforces pinpoint policy with greater simplicity and decreased operation cycles. Observability is critical to monitor and troubleshoot the network. With Network Intelligence Center, many of our customers are leveraging real-time observability with modules including network topology, performance dashboard, firewall insights, and connectivity tests. Network Analyzer is our latest module, which proactively detects common issues such as misconfigurations of firewall rules, routes, connectivity, and more. And Network Analyzer is now GA. Customers can now receive log-based alerting to address potential issues very quickly. Performance Dashboard has been enhanced with network visibility for customers with latency metrics for Google Cloud to internet traffic. And in addition, we added a new top talkers view in network topology so that customers can quickly identify and monitor their largest contributors to egress and optimize those deployments for performance or cost. We went through a lot of new updates here. And for more information, here are a few other networking and security sessions if you want to dive a little bit deeper. Thank you, Stephanie. Cloud networking has a lot of new exciting innovations that you heard from me and Stephanie. These innovations will help our customers like yourself migrate and modernize your workloads into the cloud, secure and observe all type of workloads. Thank you so much, Meninder. I had so much fun here with you today. And thank you to everyone else watching and for being with us today.